Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video I'm going to take a look at Highland Mage. Highland Mage was nerfed and after that it really fell out of fashion. It's not something you commonly see on the ladder anymore, but I wanted to check out a little bit, okay, how is the archetype actually doing? So I went on HS Replay and I picked the highest performing deck list from there. This was the best performing list at the moment. It's an old list, it's a pre-nerf list, but it was still doing all right. And I took it out for a spin on the ladder and I was just winning games left and right with it. It still seemed very, very powerful. And that is even with the 7 mana Luna's Pocket Galaxy and even with the 4 mana Conjurer's Calling in it. Actually my practical experience was that Conjurer's Calling was still good in this deck, but Luna's Pocket Galaxy I actually couldn't use very well, so I'm not sure if it really has a place in this deck. And it's hard to evaluate that too, because even though this deck has a big sample size, there are tens of thousands of games played with this deck, the large majority of those games were played before the nerfs. And currently on HS Replay you cannot filter down the post-nerf sample when you're looking at card statistics. So card statistics still show Luna's Pocket Galaxy is one of the best performing cards, but when 80% of the sample is pre-nerf and only 20% post-nerf, then actually those card statistics don't tell you anything at the moment. My current assumption is that this could be built in a better way without the Pocket Galaxy, but it's hard to say yet. Anyway, the deck itself is one of the grindier Highlander Mage decks. Clearly a control deck. You play slow, you answer lots of threats, you start to build up some pressure, and ultimately you have a bunch of real power moves with King Fauris, with Kalegos, with Siamat, with Archmage Antonidas giving you fireballs. So you're able to answer the opponent's threats, you have some medium-sized minions that come on alongside that, and then you have some bigger minions that ultimately you will seek to end the game with. It's not a fatigue deck, you're not looking to go into fatigue, you're looking to win the game, but it is a control deck in the sense that you control the board and you're on the defense for a very long time in the game before you swing things around. Typically anyway. Of course, sometimes you also get the draws where you hit that mountain giant early and you just go all in. But because it's a Highlander deck, you don't have that sort of consistency. So you just have to follow what your hand is telling you to do, whether to play it slow, whether to try to be aggressive. Overall, a fun little deck to play and it was still very effective. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're typically looking for card draw and early removal, stuff like Ancient Mysteries, Doomsayer, Arcane Intellect. You might even consider keeping it separate in some matchups. Or if you think that you have a chance to be aggressive, then holding on to that Mountain Giant, maybe holding on to something like Stargaze and Luna. Get something that the opponent is prone to react to early on on the board. If you enjoyed this content, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And now, let's go take a look at Highland Mage in action. I think this looks like solid opening hand. I believe this is going to be a two. So I'm ready for us to kill something. I can try to fish for my flame ward. And then I have the Reno available. Depends, of course, whether there's going to be lots of Grim Rallies, whether there's going to be lots of Death Rattles. Things can go well or they can go poorly. And I don't manage to pick up the Flame Ward. Do I want to play the Counter Spell now? He doesn't have a lot of spells, so it's most likely going to catch a Grim Rally anyway. I think it's playable here. <laughs> Fresh garlic and ginger. Yeah, there are lots of things that you can do a little bit with, but nothing that changes life completely. Okay, okay. I don't have a spell for the Sun River War Mage at the moment. I could ping the Mecharu, but I can do that next turn. I think this is just an arcane intellect to get some more cards. With cards in hand, all right. He can't get the Grim Rally off, which is a piece of good news. Other than that, we'll have to wait and see. Flash fails. Try 
You know, he's trying to get the Grim Rally off, but that goes into the counter spell. He might of course be able to find another Grim Rally. I mean, I have the ability to like coin War Mage, but that doesn't do much. I have the ability to ping a Mecharu. There's already 10 held on the board, so Reno is much less impressive than it was just a while ago. So I think this turn has to be the Luna. The real question is, do I freeze something in an attempt to protect the Luna? But I think I won't. The main goal of the Luna is just to reduce the health total on the board a little bit. Oh, we managed to catch a sea giant. That was a big deal. That was a really big deal. But more eggs. So many eggs. So many eggs indeed. It's probably going to be Reno into Flame Strike or something like that. I think the War Mage is going to kill that one here. We'll see what happens afterwards. Lots of dead rattles, hard to get rid of. And he lost the giant, that was a big deal. Magic Carpet, but he shouldn't have a lot of minions that he can play with that. He hasn't had any lackeys yet. He might of course find some in the near future. Okay, so that's going to be three attack. Wow. Right, so far so good. Do I just play Reno on this board? It does not clean up the serpent eggs. Alternatives. Well, Coin Flame Strike is not doing much either. It leaves so much held on the board. Three no doesn't do anything. Siamat. Rush Siamat could kill the magic carpet. That's actually pretty interesting. Because then the carpet is dead. If it's Rush Wind Fury, it could kill the carpet and the dire wolf. I kind of like that. Let's do that. So Rush and Wind Fury. And it kills the magic carpet and it kills the dire wolf. So this reduces it. This removes the most important minions from his board. Hey, on the current board he can't even kill it. He needs to have something to kill it with. And then I have the flame strike available. Next turn. Well, that was a pretty good roll. That was a pretty good roll indeed. There are not a lot of tree drops with rush, you know. Getting one over there was definitely good for him. Okay. What do I do next? He's been holding on this card a lot, so it makes me think that it's like a Leroy or something. There's five damage on the board at the moment. I could play Keysmith, but if I can't find the Flame Ward, then that gets tricky too. If I play Reno, it's unlikely to do anything useful here. I think I need, it needs to be the Keysmith. And I can't find the tools. That's tough. Summoning a copy of the keys, but isn't that great. I think it has to be the entity here. I'm not a huge fan, but I think that's what it has to be. I could have pinged the I could have pinged the vulture. That was an option. Well, that's what I would call playing into playing into a mirror entity. But it might still not be enough to save me, right? Because I need to kill the giant, of course. Well, it's not of course, I could freeze the giant. I could totally freeze the giant. <laughs> could I really? 
Now he's going to have a bunch of stuff left. So what's the out? Flame strike. Flame strike leaves with way too much on the board. Can't flame strike ping. I could reno ping, of course. I need to kill the giant. I'm really uncertain on how I can proceed from here, really. So that makes that one vulnerable to flame strike next turn. But he can still protect the vulture. This probably wasn't enough. This probably just was not enough. Yeah, I'm taking too much. I should have played this differently. Just wasn't properly focused. Should have frozen the vulture, really. Yeah. So, I'm taking too much damage next turn, right? If I flame strike this board and ping that, there's seven on the board, he needs only five from hand. Yeah, that's a little bit much. I could Zepris to get what? And Blizzard isn't helping. Now is it? Actually, it kind of is. It actually kind of is helping. I picked a blizzard here, right? It doesn't give me a blizzard. I really wanted a blizzard. Because Frost Nova is not enough. Or is it? No, it's not quite enough. Hmm. I wanted the blizzard. Well, we'll see. He would still need Leroy plus Soul Fire to kill me. I mean, he does have the Soul Fires in the deck, so maybe that's going to be enough. So I hit over there. Now, first I played the Kalagos, right? These are not enough. Magic Trick can discover. Maybe Vaporize can be useful. So I'll hit there and then I flame strike the board. And now he has to have Leroy plus Soulfire for lethal. Leroy alone is not enough. Soulfire alone is not enough. It has to be both. So it's less than 50% for him to have them. Well, Leroy plus some damage lackeys might have also done the job. There's there's second soul fire in this deck, I think. And there's Leroy in this deck. Those are the remaining big things he has. Pair of lackeys now. How much health? Six, seven. Seven plus six, thirteen health on the board right now. This is still Reno territory. So this is still something that Reno can handle. This one hits there, then there's 4, 9, 11 held on the board. Yeah. So this one goes there, then it's the Reno. There's going to be one minion left alive with one health. And that one minion with one health can be pinged away. And then I can play the Vaporize, which means that he cannot kill me with Leroy plus Soulfire anymore because Leroy cannot connect to face. Leroy will simply die when he tries to connect to face. Pow. That's one dead Leroy. And we take the game. Need to ask him about the list. Well, if he joins the chat, you can you can ask him about the list yourself. All right, we're up against a hunter, and it looks like it's a Highlander hunter. 
So back to familiar territory. Random secret created by Shimmerfly. You hate to see that happen. Let's see if it's Snipe. Not Snipe. Woohoo. Big Dave, how long do you have to suffer for before you friend? <laughs> I don't I don't know. Well, we'll see if it's a pressure plate. Not a pressure plate. I don't want to attack with this because I don't want this to go into freezing trap. Got something to hide. Oh no. More good stuff. And weaponry. And I cannot play these cards that I draw. Well, at least I can play Sunry and War Mage. Wow. Kill that minion. Maybe he has to make a choice between killing the... Maybe he doesn't. Thanks to Zepris. And wishes coming true. Okay. What's up next? Just a bright wing. Okay. <laughs> I could play Zepris and I could draw a card. I don't think this looks like a real no turn. I'll just kill those with Reno. And I'm not attacking yet, because there could be explosives. Maybe I should have attacked. Now he kills the Luna. Then they can be explosive trap, they can be freezing trap. I want Reno frozen, right? And not the War Mage. If there's a freezing trap, I want the Reno to go to that one. Oh, so it's Rat and Snakes. Mm, this might still be okay. Let's see what happens. Well, not bad. Mm -hmm. Spring Paw. That was a nice top deck for this exact position. That can now kill the 4 4, right? Okay, cool. So it's Rat and Snakes. I'll ping that one away, of course. I'll just make myself a pair of 6 drops. I think I will, actually. Let's make two six drops. Ooh, one of them has charge. I'll hit him in the face. Yay. Let's do that. So you have your rat and you have your snakes, but... Are you going to survive? Well, that could be a freezing drop now. It was a top deck card, though, so... Really hard to say. But if it is freezing trap... That's really good. Because then I can't put him down to 10 health. Then I can't put him down to 10 health, so I don't get Pyroblast from Zepris. We'll check it out. It was the Freezing Trap top deck. By the Sunwalker, it's fine. He might have find a deadly shot, though. And I see me out of time. Time is of the essence. I always see Armat. It's going to be a Rush Wind Fury, uh, Rush Divine Shield, right? So he gets to keep it as a 6-6. Six, six. Hmm. So this would be the time for me to play Kalagos, right? Let's, I just need to weave in a little bit more damage. Let's see what I can discover. I discover a Fireball. I think we're going for that one, right? Fireball phase. Or make two ten drops. Two ten drops. Oh boy, we're getting so close. Can he find healing? I think I'm fireballing phase here. Because if unless he heals this very turn. Or Pulls my Zepris. He's dead. Okay, he pulled the Zepris. He's not dead. Well, that was a unfortunate turn of events. So this rat and their snake. Well. 
There's rat and there is snake. Freezing has been seen. There can be a pressure plate. There's rat, there's snake. There could be a pressure a plate. So if that's a pressure plate, it kills the Kalagos. It is not a pressure plate. Okay, then the Kalagos goes face. And then I will just blizzard his minions. I will play Conjurer's Call on Kalegos. And I won't trigger the Rat Trap. And he shouldn't be able to deal 18 damage. And pretty hard to kill two minions. He would have to have Zul'jin now. Zul'jin is the out. Does he have a Zul'jin? Is there any other route? Like, Ziliax isn't an out. Brand isn't an out. I've already seen the Freezing Trap. I think Zul'jin is the only out. Misdirection. And something else. No, Misdirection is not an out. Definitely isn't an out. Okay, we actually just pressured down the hunter. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.